What's up, everyone? I've talked about grip issues before. People talk about deadlift and they have grip issues. There's two things that usually cause that. One is when someone is so internally rotated, they can't actually get the mixed grip external rotation. They can't get their pinky and ring finger to the bar, so they have like a two-finger grip. That's when you start seeing it slip out. Barring a mobility issue, if you have a weak grip, it's going to come from pinky and ring finger. Those are the ones that slip and fall. These two are usually strong. So we're going to train that specifically. We kind of know that I don't love curls. It's not that I don't love curls. I just don't enjoy doing them. They just seem useless to me. Uh, I couldn't care less about my biceps, but I can care a lot about my grip. So what I'm going to do here is I borrowed one of the random straps I have laying around. It's a figure eight strap from Elite FTS and a kettlebell. I'm going to put that figure eight strap. You can even use a regular strap for this, but I like the figure eight because I can put it on that ring finger and on that pinky. And now I can actually do curls from that position, strengthening. I have to do bicep work for elbow health anyways, right? So now I can strengthen that grip, those bottom two fingers with that pinky and come through pinky and ring finger curls. Uh, a lot of times you can also put this around the barbell or have your kettlebell and do deadlifts that way to build that grip endurance if you want to really build the strength of it. So you can deadlift with just the bottom two fingers. There was an old time strongman who used to do a two finger lift and he had like one arm that was two inches bigger. So if you want bigger biceps, try it with a little bit of a bent arm. But the advantage of this is I then take the strap out and if I really want to fry the grip from there, I just go right to that bottom up kettlebell hold for a period of time. So knock out 12 to 15 curls that way, then go right to the bottoms up hold and really let it fatigue out. You'll build your grip endurance. The caveat to grip training is its recovery is slow. So when you want to include this is at the end of your deadlift session. So it's recovered in time by the next deadlift session. You wouldn't want to go do back or upper body, then do your grip, and then two days later try and do your deadlifts because your grip's still tired. It's a very slow recovery for the forearms. So do this at the end of your deadlift workout to build your grip. Now, if you lack that shoulder mobility to externally rotate, get your pinky in there, you can take the same kettlebell that you've just curled and same kettlebell that you've done at bottoms of press and let it go behind you this way and just let it pull you into external rotation and hold that. Just not holding this way, let it come back so we have some loaded stretching just stay tight to the body, let it pull your arm back and hold for 30 to 45 seconds. So now you're loaded in that stretch position. So you've improved grip strength and you've improved shoulder external rotation range of motion. So you can get to that mixed grip position much more fully. 